everyone, so today I'm filming a Q&A video and I really like filming these just because I like to give you guys the chance to get to know me a little bit more. When I do these, I always just put a picture on Instagram and then let you guys comment questions. And on this one, I think I said something like, leave like interesting comments for like new questions that I haven't really answered before. So I'm just gonna be answering some questions. I'm just gonna like skip around so they're not in any like order. I won't get to all of them, but I'll do as many as I can. And yeah, let's just get right into it. The very first one says, would you ever come to England? And seriously, I'm obsessed with your outfit of the weeks. Oh my gosh, okay, thank you. And I would love to come to England. I've never been, but I think it would be really cool. And I've actually never even been to Europe, but that's a goal in life. This next one says, what's the cutest thing that Justin has ever done for you? And it would probably be this past Saturday. It was our one year anniversary and he actually sent me flowers. I was very surprised and they're very pretty and I'll put a picture right here. They're so cute, I love them. They're actually on a shelf in my room right now. Yep. Do you miss your long hair? By the way, I love you. Oh my gosh, okay, I love you too. And I do miss my long hair a lot actually, but Good news is, hair does grow, mine is growing back. When I first got it cut, it was literally like up to my collarbone, so it has grown quite a bit. I do miss my long hair though, and let me know what you guys think. Here's a picture of my long hair and my short hair, pretty much in like the same spot. And what one do you guys think looks better on me? I've gotten both, like some people say, you're not pretty without long hair, and some people say you look way prettier with short hair, so let me know down below what you guys think. Do you get allowance? No, sadly, I do not get allowance, I wish. I used to, though, when I was little. Oh, this one's cute. It says, favorite childhood breakfast food. Love you, Gretchen. I love you too, Kitty Cat 20 Pretty much every day, I ate pancakes when I was growing up because I loved pancakes, and I actually still do like them. You wanna hear, like, how fat I was? My New Year's resolution, I remember when I was in, like, third or fourth grade, was to eat at least five pancakes every day. Yep. <laughs> What do you want to major in university and what university do you want to go to? I'm pretty sure I want to major in biology and I'm not sure what school I want to go to yet. This one says, is your recent giveaway over? Yes, it is. I actually got shipped out to a girl named Maggie. I believe she lived somewhere down south. Yep. This one says, how long have you and Justin been dating? Like I just said, um, our one year anniversary was on Saturday, so we've been dating for a little over a year now, which is so weird to me. I feel like we just started dating, but yeah, it's already been a year. Would you rather have a tiger head or a monkey head? Definitely monkey because I love monkeys. They're so cute. This one says, what advice would you give a girl who's trying to give herself more respect? Okay, this is like a really deep one. Questions like these are tough. A girl that's trying to give herself more respect, you are obviously realizing that you deserve respect. You need to respect yourself. So if you're trying to give yourself more respect, do just that. Like you realize you need to. Take time to do things that are important for you. Focus on your goals and what makes you happy because you don't want to be doing things for other people. Make sure you have your own goals and your own like aspirations, like what you want to do with your life and and what you think is important. Don't do stuff because other people tell you to or because other people are doing it. Do what makes you happy. And if you want to respect yourself, you must demand respect from others too. So don't put up with anyone else's crap. And like, you've probably heard this before, but like surround yourself with people that make you happy. And if someone's bringing you down or if you have a friend that's not really helping you as a person in any way, then it's not worth it. Then they're not really your friend. and. Don't put yourself with negative people because you'll feel negative and you won't be happy. To respect yourself, you need to demand respect from others, but you also need to respect others too. So try not to be as judgmental, totally like be accepting of what everyone else's beliefs are because everyone's different, everyone has their own story. So you really have to be like not judgmental towards others and really just try to be like open and a positive person. And I know that was a really open-ended question, but if you're trying to respect yourself, just try to be like the best you that you can be. And I know that's not really specific. Focus on the good things in life and what your goals and try to think of your future and where you want to be and what you need to do to get there and how you are going to accomplish like all that you want to accomplish because that's what will keep you focused and on track and not sidetracked by all the stupid things that you can in your teenage years. So. To respect yourself and respect others is really a big part of that too, I think. I hope I answered your question. If you were a tree, what tree would you be? P.S. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Okay, uh, 
Lucy's favorite tree is a weeping willow, and I think those are really pretty and cool looking, so probably a weeping willow tree. This one says, favorite working out song at the moment. I really like that song, Blame. It's just really catchy. I think it's by Calvin Harris. Yep, it's by Calvin Harris and John Newman, and I really do like that song a lot. This one says, how tall are you? I am 5'8", and the next one says, how old are you? I am 17 years old. It feels really weird to say that because that feels really old, but I'm 5'8", and 17 years old. Ooh, this one says, tips on how to handle school, sports, social life, and a job. And if you're me, add YouTube to the mix. Girl, I feel you, that is really hard. It is so hard to keep up with everything. And honestly, a lot of times, you can't do it all in like one aspect or another lacks. And for me, like I'll just say it how it is, a lot of times I don't get to put as much time into YouTube as I would really like to. I would love to put up two or three videos a week. Like I would love to make all the videos that I wanna make and like edit them flawlessly and add cool music and like interact with you guys as much as I can. Like I absolutely love it, that's why I do it. But just with school, senior year, trying to apply to college, like um, sports, like crew, like trying to keep some aspect of your social life, it's really, really hard, especially as a teenager. So you really just got to try to balance it. And you have to know your priorities. Like school probably, obviously, comes first. So you just always have to keep that in mind and just keep it all in perspective and just really try your best. I know it's not easy. And a lot of times... You might not be able to hang out with your friends. I certainly don't and it sucks, but that's how it is. What's your favorite thing to do during school vacations? It would probably be to go like on vacation like to the beach because who doesn't love to go tan at the beach? I don't know, that's me. I love the beach. I would always love to go somewhere warm. Ooh, this one, I keep saying ooh before all the questions. Sorry, I'm like ooh, because they like interest me, ooh. <laughs> Lose your voice for a day if you could meet one of your subscribers or for a year if you could meet all of your subscribers. Oh my gosh, I would definitely lose my voice for a year to meet all of you. Like, that would be so flipping awesome. If I could meet, like, 65,000 people that watch my videos, how incredibly insane would that be? So, definitely, I would choose to meet every single one of you. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. If you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Love you. Oh, I love you too. You guys are, like, giving me the love. Like, when I read your comments, you don't understand. Like, you're putting me in such a good mood right now. Like, I'm so happy. If I could eat one thing for the rest of my life, it might be bananas with peanut butter because that's just, like, a really big obsession right now. And it has been for a while. What's your favorite way to wear your hair? Well, probably since I've cut it just down and straight because I think that's when it looks like the longest. Sorry, I keep touching it in this video too. <sighs> yeah, probably down and straight just because I feel like that's when it looks longer. <laughs> this one says, would you rather go with no Brandy Melville or no makeup? Uh, I said that really funny. Um, Definitely no Brandy Melville. Like, you know, I would live. I know everyone thinks I'm so obsessed with Brandy Melville and like I do love, love, love their clothes, but I feel like I'm not as obsessed as I used to be and like I really would die without makeup because I like makeup and it makes me feel confident and put together. So I would go without Brandy Melville. This one says, what was your worst date? Um, I really haven't gone on like a first date. I know that sounds weird. Like I have a boyfriend, Justin, but I mean, we didn't have that whole like awkward first date kind of thing because we were friends first before he's like became my boyfriend. So I never had like a first date where I had to like, you know, like impress someone or like anything like that. Biggest fear, my biggest fear would probably be drowning just because, uh, yeah. Does Lucy have a boyfriend? Is he cute? He is super cute. His name is Danny. This one says future kids' names. Hmm, this is a very cool question. And my one friend Hannah loves like cool, like interesting names that like no one's kids are really named. And like Hannah wants to name her kids Delaney, I think. And that's actually one of my friend's names. And she's so cute. And like I love that name Delaney. So maybe Delaney or like, I really like the name Nicholas for a boy. Like I really like the name Nick. And I think for a girl, I really like the name Amanda. I don't know why, I just like the name Amanda. That'd be a cool name. Nicholas and Amanda. Those are going to be my future children. What's your current favorite Netflix show? And at the moment, the show I'm watching on Netflix is Orange is the New Black. And I know I'm like late to like hop on that train because I feel like everyone else has already watched it. But it's like really funny and kind of cool. So yeah, I like that show right now. You should totally watch it if you haven't already. This one says, who is your role model? And one before said, who inspires you? the most. I can't think of someone that's like famous or something that is like my role model and I'm like obsessed with them. I think like day to day, 
like if you just surround yourself with friends and people that are like really positive people and that you like enjoy being with and are just really awesome good people then like they'll inspire you so like I have this one friend Taylor I love Taylor so much she is honestly like she inspires me she's probably one of my biggest role models just because she's so driven and friendly and she's so willing to like work really hard at whatever it is she's doing to get to where she wants to be like athletically and academically and she's such a hard worker and I really love that about her and she's also like the sweetest human being on earth so a role model and an inspiration to me would be my friend Taylor love you Taylor and the last one I will answer is what is your job? Over the summer I lifeguard uh, at pools like near my house. I feel like I've talked about that before. Now I will just work at the YMCA once in a while. I'll lifeguard there and um, I have YouTube as a job. And also I've mentioned this in other videos before but I just wanted to mention it again. There's this thing called the Pinion Outpost. I will have it linked in the down bar down below. And it's just this website where you can um, do surveys, and get just paid for your opinions because research companies want people's opinions on like food and products and stuff like that. So I will have that all linked down below. You can go check it out. It's really cool and a way to earn some money if you do not have a job. But thank you so much for watching this Q&A. I will see you in my next video, which might be another app of the week. I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys like, like those, but those are usually what I have time to film before school. And getting into November with a month off of crew, I will have time to film other really fun and exciting videos. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!